to my channel. Hey yo, hey yo, listen up, listen up, yeah. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. The wireless woman. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. All right, welcome back, Wi Fi's, and hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. This is another underground transmission of the wireless woman. Go ahead and do me a favor on your way in and like this video. You already know that when you like it, well, I love it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. <laughs> And click the bell with the drop down for all notifications of when I go live and when I upload new content. So listen, y'all know I've been out here in this dating world and in my dating video, I broke it down. I told y'all about this date. But while I was on this one date, I was being accosted mm, by this man about y'all black women and how Black women are so insecure. They want to wear wigs and weaves and lashes and get their body done and get BBLs because, you know, they're just so insecure about their bodies. They are so thirsty for male attention. And, you know, me sitting here with my natural hair and no lashes and a mom bod, a whole full mom bod. I got it all. Okay. I got the rolls. I got the yams. All right, I can fix a whole meal. I I have the stretch marks. I have it all. And I'm sitting here like, you know, you can project into a space and really expose yourself by letting people know what you've really been looking at and what you've really been looking for. Because I, I'm always fascinated by it because I'm like, why are you checking so hard for these females? Why do they have so much of your attention? I mean, if they're attention seeking <laughs> and the goal is to get rid of that behavior, why do you give it so much energy? But, you know, another video for a different day. But the whole time I'm listening to him talk, I'm thinking to myself, do you want to wear the wig? Is that what the problem is? I've never had anyone be that upset with me unless on some level they were jealous of me. You know. We're we're women. It's, it's a very competitive space over here in womanhood. Most of us can't even be friends with each other because the competition is so so thick amongst us. You know what I'm saying? Who's got the best nails and the best lashes and the best hair? It's, it's, it's thick over here. So I'm always wondering why why it's so concerning for men. But I was talking to one of my girlfriends, friend girls, friend girls about this. And and I told her, I said, you know, I, I really think these men are going to be the bad bitches. And that's got to be what the problem is. Because here's the thing. It's not just black women that wear wigs and weaves. As a matter of fact, it's a lot of non-black women that wear wigs and weaves. It's just that because the hair we choose to wear in wigs and weaves emulates their hair. Most of the time they're wearing it and you only, it don't even seem like it. They have tape ends and all types of stuff. Uh, the little headbands where they put a little track in the back, like. Black women are not the only ones, even by and large, wearing wigs. And this industry is a beauty industry. It was created off of beauty standards. So if you have a problem with the beauty standard, then we should never, <laughs> as black women, hear y'all getting on these podcasts talking about other groups of women are more desirable than us. Because like I said, it's all about the behaviors. Look, spoken like a true supervisor, we got to do the behaviors if we want to see the outcomes change. If you could just go ahead and make sure you do that from now on, that would be great. But I told her, I said, here's the crazy thing about it. You know, historically speaking, men did wear the wigs. If you can go back as far as ancient Egypt and wigs were a sign just like they are today. 
of affluence, of luxury. I mean, they had a, a utilitarian reason for wearing them because it kept them from having lice in their hair, um, from getting uh, bed, bed bugs and things like that that were biting on their scalps. But the pharaohs wore wigs, headdresses, weaves. Uh, braided into their hair. Um, and that was the fashion. That was the style, man. And and it's always been that way specifically and particularly for Black people throughout history. Even when those colonizing Europeans came to African countries, they, um, they remarked in their journals a lot about the elaborate accessories and headdresses and adornments they were wearing lion's manes and all different the chieftains i mean they was out you know even to to today when you see in the chains and the gold teeth and all these things we've always been a very elaborately adorned people but back in these prehistoric days you know the richer people they would have wigs that were made out of uh, horse mane, goat's hair, and even the most common publican, you know, pedestrian Egyptians that weren't as affluent, they could get wigs that were made out of straw. So, I mean, this this is a widely spread thing. And, and pharaohs used to wear eyeliner and makeup. You know, we've seen all of these things all throughout history. So I'm on here today to say, listen, Men don't hate it. Don't don't hate. Uh, if if deep down inside you you really want to embrace these things, go ahead and do it. We will support you. We got all these rappers out here wearing pearls, painting their nails, you know. And 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 it's always been that way. You can go all the way back to Cameo. You know, he was wearing pressed out hair. Uh, Rick James used to wear uh, braids. Stevie Wonder, Deeds, and I was one of those uh, kids that grew up. My mom was a, a hairdresser, and so she used to do jerry curls in the kitchen at the house, okay? And I mean, men used to have them things swinging. They used to have it juicy and swinging, you know what I'm saying? Just let your soul go. It's so silky smooth, let it shine through. Oh yeah, like you can do it too. You know, there'd be women and men sitting right there side by side in the bowl. She'd be washing one out and she'd be putting perm rods in that. Men used to be sitting there with little pink perm rods and stuff in there. She'd put the activator on it. I just go ahead and do it. Maybe if you embrace and accept yourself, you won't have to judge other people. Maybe you won't feel so bad about your women looking so dressed up and looking adorned because you can finally take your place and compete with them. You know, you can wear what you really want to wear. You can put a wig on. It wouldn't be the first time. Even right now in African countries, the um, barristers, barristers, I don't know how you say it. But the, the lawyers and the judges and stuff, they still wear white powdered wigs. You know, white men have worn wigs, toupees. They say Donald Trump that y'all love so much that he he wear one. I don't know. He wear a hair piece, you know. And I'm seeing a lot of men get weaves. And honestly, they look good. Some of them, they got some lock weave. They do glue the little hair on the top like this. And they get the little lock weaves and stuff like that. Like, weaves are everywhere. And everybody's wearing them, but for some odd reason, you only upset about black women having them on. And here's the thing. I don't have no dog in this fight. So it's like if you really, really can't stand it and you don't like it, then don't reward it. You know, go out there and get you a natural woman like me. <laughs> see, now, now you get to see. Now you get to see. You know, my hypocrisy only goes so deep. My hypocrisy goes only so far. But my point in what I'm saying is, I was out at church the other Sunday, went to the grocery store after that, went out with my family to get something to eat. And I'm not saying that I'm seeing the whole world, but in a microchasm. At church, I think I saw most of the women had natural hair. Uh, right after that, there were several women with locks. Beautiful locks looked wonderful like me. 
Then there were some women that had relaxed hair, straight hair, but it did look to be their own hair. I don't think I saw one wig in the church, not even on old women. Same thing in the grocery store. I think out of the whole day that I just was actively out seeking and searching for a wig, I might have saw one. Now, I mean, don't get me wrong. If we're dealing with high profile rappers or, you know, just girls in a certain section. Because I've seen so many girls in lace fronts in one place at one time, I couldn't even tell them apart. So I'm not saying they're not out there. I'm just saying you got to find them. It's a, it's a very specific population in certain places, you know? Like you, you're not going to find a cactus in the rainforest. It's a thought. But for the majority of men who are out looking in the real world for a real girl, you know, out in the real world, looking for a real woman, a real natural woman, I don't think they're that hard to find. You know, ones with real hair and real bodies. I, I didn't have any problem finding them. Now, deeper dimensions of compatibility, yeah, I get it. You know, maybe she got natural hair and then no BBL, but she don't know how to cook. Like, you know, but I'm just saying to the extent that there's all this like black woman wig weave lash, I can't understand it, you know, and, and, <laughs> and I'm starting to think like, do we need a term for this? Like wigism? Wigism, weavism, like, because it's, it's, it's really getting out of hand. We're not the only ones that are wearing them, but we're just being penalized so heavily for it that I, I can't even believe anymore that it's arbitrary. It's got to be a targeted attack. It's got to be because I, I haven't seen this many natural black women walking around since the 70s. That's the only time you've seen this type of widespread, unprocessed amount of hair, you know. Now, I ain't going to lie, the lashes, even I myself am like, mm, mm, mm. but all of this stuff is about desirability. If you really want to stomp it out, and I've said this in videos before, you can. Mm. You can. If women didn't reward men for having money, there wouldn't be men going out there using money to get women. Women are using BBLs and lashes and hair weaves to attract men and other women i mean let's just be honest but my point is it's a zero-sum game if you don't like it they don't get you problem solved if you see what i see and you feel as i feel but if you see what i see if you feel as i feel and if you would seek as i seek and go ahead and drop that fire headphones emoji in the comments i look forward to engaging with you there tell me how you feel i won't know how you feel until you tell me i don't know how you feel can you tell me, you tell me? <laughs> but until the next transmission y'all already know the drill go ahead and clock out for me leaders what is our concept one band one sound one band one sound